What's going on guys? <laughs> Theo the Mount here. Um, I'm outside Thor's power gym and Half Thor just rolled up. I just finished day shift. I'm always in my work uniform for some reason when I'm filming right now. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do some squats. We're gonna do a heavy single squat. Uh, the program says 195 kilograms, if I remember correctly. But um, yeah, we'll see how the body feels. And this is my fourth day now training in a row without rest. So my CNS may be a little fried, central nervous system, but we'll make do with what, you, what we got. No excuses. Let's hit the iron right now. Let's come, come with me. See you inside. So guys, excuses time. So this power rack, it's so wide. I usually hold my hands all the way to the barbell, all the way to the weights, the barbell, all the way to the weights. Because of the power rack, I couldn't do that. I had to um, have hands a lot inner than I'm used to. So I felt like the balance was off during the whole warm ups and everything. So got to fix the hair. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, that threw me off guard. So hitting a heavy single, 195 kilograms, you know, the balance was way off. Uh, so yeah, excuses. Could have been better. It got the weight up, but you know, it should have been a lot better. But yeah, happy that I still got it up, but there's more in the tank. Next time I'm going to use a squat rack, not a power rack, because I need to hold out a wide. What is fuck? So yeah, gonna do some texture on uh, some stones right now. Yeah, let's do some stones. See you in a bit. Oh, I'm 
So decided not to do that third rep on the Atlas Stone. I just didn't feel confident enough in my lower back and everything to do it. You know, if I would have done it, it would it would have been out of form, it would have been bad technique, and I would risk injuring myself five weeks out from competition. So you know that wouldn't be smart. So I decided to play smart. You know, you gotta know when to push yourself and not not to. But overall, good workout. It's good squat. Heavy stone, new PR on the stone, 157. I think some guys were saying it's 160. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Still put the weight up. Yeah, buddy. <sighs> so yeah, really happy with that. Really happy. Everything's going according to plan. I'm getting stronger each week. I'm gonna try to, you know, peak at the right time before competition. So it's exciting. It's always fun to hit new PRs. Really wish I would have done the squat on the squat squat rack though. You know, ah, uh, crud. So now I'm gonna go home. Gotta stop by the supermarket. I don't know if it's a supermarket. It's like a little, small little store called Iceland, and it's in Iceland, but also Britain. What? <laughs> uh, and yeah, I gotta pick up a few things for my girlfriend because she's hangry. Then I gotta go to bed, and then wake up 5:30 in the morning, cook day shift gym repeat so yeah good times happy all <sighs> to be honest I've been thinking a lot about this and um, I want to be yeah I've, I've, as I said in you know the last video I want to be more active on YouTube I just haven't really figured out what sort of schedule I want to keep what I want to do you know how often what kind of content you know everything so I talked with Martin Lee's his, his fil uh, filmmaker you know YouTube expert <laughs> uh, the guy who films and edits all of Martin's Liz's Lisey's his videos and he told me like th three videos per week do that you know get the watch time over the week and you know keep subscribers eventually might get paid by YouTube so yeah I'm gonna try to do that try to upload three times make video make YouTube videos three times per week I'm thinking Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays how does that sound good I hope so It'll be, you know, a lot of fun. Kind of going back into the you'd go into the grind, you know, forcing myself. You know, I have to get the videos up by these days. So, you know, got to grind. Put them out. So, yeah, I think that might be a lot of fun. Might do some challenges, you know. 10,000 calorie challenge, done easy. Or, you know, eating raw shark and sheep testicles. And <laughs> the Icelandic national food that we give tourists to eat. And uh, all kinds of stuff. If you have any ideas, you know, drop them in the comments. And, you know, I'll give you credits, you know, I'll put in a special thank you to the guy who, if I make the video. So, yeah. So, that's going to be it today, folks. 
thank you for watching i appreciate it please subscribe and please like the video and i'll see you guys on friday see you live long and prosper